I've been on a few different you know, collaborative websites. And there are the ones where you end up as a teacher having to pay for some material. You have to sign up and pay a fee just to be on the website. And having a website where it's all open resource, it's all things that teachers are sharing, is, it's nice to be able to go out there and find things that other teachers are doing and also to be able to take your own ideas and share them out to other teachers where we should be doing that with everything we do. It makes me proud to think that somebody might use something that I created or helped create in their classroom. And, and if that's helping educate students somewhere else, how awesome is that? We had um, a few teams from different schools in Charlotte Mecklenburg and we all came together to start the project to, to get that kick and to have a big discussion and then we had people from ISKME on a video conference and uh, so it was nice and, and it was a it was a nice setting in a video conference room and you know for us teachers who's in the classroom all day to all of a sudden be downtown Charlotte in one of the skyscrapers overlooking the city in a video conference felt kind of important and it really felt good to to feel like you know you're valued as an educator and your input and everything and so having that collaboration to begin with is just it was a really good kickstart to the program and really motivated and then we had um, meetings with the three of us in school a lot and then we had a couple more that were get the whole group together to find out how it's going and stuff like that so it was really neat to collaborate in that kind of way nationally. You know, there in California, here we are in North Carolina. And For me, it was a, a person who started our school, Joanne, got a hold of me and said, I need a math teacher to help me out on a project that involves multi-discipline stuff. And like, yeah, I'm in, just whatever you want. So we got together, had to go through and pick a task, which was extremely difficult to get something that all three disciplines would be able to use in our classrooms that we're teaching. We didn't want to create something that was just, let me do this one day for the purpose of this project, but something that was actually relevant to what the goals of the classroom were. I like the idea of working with the other teachers. I like the idea of my students feeling like they already had some knowledge from the science classroom. Knowing what the science teacher is actually teaching in that classroom and knowing what the English teacher's objectives are in that classroom made me, I guess, appreciate more what they're having to do and what, what, what I can do to reflect on that or to you know, know that in my classroom. So I was teaching a math one class for repeaters. These are students who haven't been successful before. And it was, um, I guess, kind of scary to think of going off of just the straight, let's learn how to do this and actually present it as a task. But it was probably the most engaged I'd seen the students all year. They were very interested in what the results would be and looking at my bias compared to their bias. And then we talked about, you know, there's also just the honesty in the survey. Are the kids always going to tell the truth about if they brought a weapon to school and stuff? So we had these great discussions that were math-based, but the kids didn't feel like they were doing math. And I had presented it, a lot of them had Joanna Science class. And so when they started, we started talking about the original text, they're like, hey, we were doing this in science. For me, just seeing those kids be engaged to actually focus on <laughs> what we're learning that day instead of fighting the battle of, you know, you need to pay attention so that you can learn this material, so you can pass this class, so you can move on and graduate. You know, we weren't thinking about that that day. We were just thinking about, hey, this is kind of a neat topic to think about and just discuss it. And it wasn't having to threaten. It wasn't having to tell them, you know, hey, it's, it's time to pay attention or hey, get your head off the desk. Or, so to see them engaged um, with that level student is a huge reward. Mm -hmm. 
well, do it. I mean, get in there and and see where you can take your subject and and branch out to other things. Because in in the end, you know, we're educating kids. And if your if my math helps them in their science class, or their science class helps them in my math class, or my math helps English, then it's all helping the kid. You know, it's not about just how do they score in my class, it's about are they leaving with a well-rounded education and are they making the connections? And if we as teachers are not making connections between multidisciplinary subjects, then the students will never make those connections. But if they see us connecting, then it'll help them make those connections for later in life.